Good evening, everyone. Guys, I was just about to go back into the house and have a nice, delicious tomato soup. And then I saw something that caught my eye on X. We are talking about aliens. We're talking about UFOs, UAPs, all these sort of things that are drones in and around airports. Well, guys, something caught my eye. And I thought, haha, I had a little look at it and I thought, do you know what? I think I know what that is. And guys, unfortunately, I want to believe, okay, I want to believe there's little green men out there. They're coming and visiting us, taking some people away, taking them on spaceships, probing them, coming back and doing all sorts of mad stuff. The reality is I haven't seen any evidence of it. But what I will show you now is I'm going to go to the sh share screen. Um, I'm going to show you from, where are we? Where are we? Here. So we've got these things that are appearing now, guys. Um, th th this is all over the all over the internet at the moment. So let's just, um, I don't know what the sound quality is going to be like on this, guys, but let's just have a look at this one. Now, that looks like CGI to me, but I think it's been enhanced. Uh, when I looked at that, I pretty much knew exactly what it was. This is it here in, um, I think this is the real, real world shot. That's, I think, well, that's zoomed in. And again, from that angle, I can pretty much tell you what that is. And then when I saw its flight characteristics. Yeah, I'm pretty much certain I know exactly what that is. Let's just see what else right guys so i'm right there's and this is what really really does me guys you know there's lots of people saying that this is a ufo which i guess it is it's unidentified it's flying and it's certainly an object now i don't know if this is real or what but what i can tell you is i would suspect of a very high likelihood that what this is is in fact hang on i've not seen this one People want a certain alien scenario designed to manipulate and distract. You see, this is what I mean, guys, you know. There's all this mad stuff out there, and it kind of loses credibility when we talk about other stuff. So what I believe this is, if we just look at this picture here, this picture here, it's kind of, from that picture, I, I pretty much had an idea what I thought it was. Now, obviously, we can't really get a size dimension, but I'd say that is what, I mean, I, I'm i speculating. I mean, it could be anything because there's not really much in the, um, you know, in the distance or near distance to be able to um, identify the size with it. Um, but what I would say is that could be, I, I'd say that's no more than 10 feet apart. 10 foot wide and from looking at the other 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 images i i'd say it's more than likely to be about five five foot wide so anyway you've got a rough you know estimate of the size of it so what i'm going to say that this is guys in fact let me stop that so what i'm going to speculate that this is it's um it's something and again this is me speculating but i'm pretty confident that it is one i'm going to speculate that this is a a vacuum balloon Oh, Sean, what are you talking about? Materials have not been made to be able to have a vacuum inside a balloon. Well, if you think about it, um, a vac the way buoyancy works, the way that um, the way that hot air balloons work, or helium balloons, or hydrogen balloons, the way they work is the molecules are lighter than the air around them. That in that instance, they have an upward. Is it lift? It's is it lift or is it thrust? It's, it's lift, of course. It's cost of lift. It's not thrust. Trust me that way. Um, so they have an upward lift property. Now, if you fill a balloon with gas, the gas inside the balloon expands the balloon and then you have that lift and you can dangle, you know, whatever off the bottom of it and then it, it, it will go up. If you fill the balloon with nothing then that is the most, that gives you the best lift characteristics, lift properties, because mm, you've got nothing in there. So of course, nothing is lighter than something because it's nothing. So then it will go up. 
Now, the way they do this is quite a clever little way that they that, that they get around this. They engineer around this. They use something called aerogel. Uh, now, guys, I, I don't want to get too nerdy into this with you, uh, but they use something called aerogel. I'll just go onto Wikipedia now on the uh, what aerogel is. So this is aerogel here, guys. Uh, let me see if I can get that. That is basically aerogel. Now, you can build this with, you know, you can fabricate this with all sorts of different... Um, materials etc but what i would what i believe they're doing is they're getting an aerogel like this so an aerogel sorry I've, I've just showed you a picture of one so an aerogel it's very strong and it's very light um it's basically if you can imagine such a thing as freezing smoke but you use different processes to do it i may be slightly wrong on the process to get there but that is basically you know um, Keeping keeping the video short, that's kind of what it is. Now, obviously, you can freeze different things at different temperatures. What happens there is you get a really strong material that is incredibly light. Now, if you can imagine aeroshell, aeroshell, aerogel, but in a spherical shape, you create that, then you put that inside a vacuum. Once it's inside a vacuum, you then cover that with some sort of membrane then what will happen in fact let's just how do i get back i don't know how to get off this right i'm i'm stuck i'm stuck uh let's just stop showing that then um so if you can imagine now guys you've got this aerogel and hang on you can imagine now you've got this aerogel like this you know this spherical shape and it's Stop focusing. <laughs> the aerogel, and it, it, it's kind of like in this shape now. Then if you take this into a vacuum chamber, so there's no air, and then cover this with a membrane. Now, remember, that membrane doesn't have to be particularly um, strong. It only has to, has to stop one atmosphere. Because guess what? We're at one, one atmosphere. And the higher it goes, then obviously the less pressure's on it. But if you remember from the picture, it kind of looked really crushed, didn't it? It looked like it was really pressing in, pressing in, and you could see ribs. Um, you know, you could see ribs protruding. So what I'm going to speculate is, and I would say it's 100. Guys, this, you know, I, I, I've got, I, this is what I think it is. So it's a, it's a vacuum balloon made with aerogel. The aerogel is inside. There's a membrane over the top of that. And then that would give it that shape. So let's just go back quickly and look at the actual shape of it again. Now I've given you that explanation. Uh, where are we? So can you see now how it looks like these are ribs that have been indented and they're getting sucked in? Um, and that, that's to me what it is, guys. That really is what that is. And unfortunately, contrary to all these, you know, all these like sites here, it's UFOs. It's, it's an alien. It's UFOs. Look. Oh, it's all this. You know, I just, you know, I'm totally up for like looking at aliens and stuff and trying to like figure out where they are and what they do. But, you know, it, it to me really is, that is all it is, a, uh, you know, and, um, an aerogel um, vacuum balloon. And that's kind of what it is. And next time we see one, guys, we'll know what this is. Now, if the military are developing this, which I would say that they're the only people who have, well, by military, I mean uh, your big prime contractors. Um, you know what, guys? Let's just quickly, let's just quickly look at what, pro let's look if there's any, um, how do I how do I search this? Let me just do a quick search for uh no, I can't find anything. Let me think. Let me think, guys. I'm just thinking out loud here. Now I know Manchester uh, Manchester University. I'm just putting this together now, guys. I know Manchester University, they were one of the the forerunners of uh fabricating um let me see how far manchester university is away from that um uh yeah so i know that manchester university were one of the um forerunners in working with um 
uh, graphene and developing graphene um, substrates. Hang on. Um, what, about, what was I just Googling then? Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> that university. Let's just see what the proximity uh, on the to from Manchester University to the airport is. Right, Manchester Manchester University of Manchester. Uh, okay, so it's not f that far away from the airport, I guess, but it's not right at the airport either. Um, yeah, I mean it could be. So what I'm going to speculate, guys, this is you know I'm going to say that that is, in my opinion, that is a vacuum balloon. I would speculate it's come from Manchester University, or it's got something to do with Manchester University because Manchester University, you uh, you know, they're one of the they've got the leading scientists who produce graphene and graphene substrates so i would say it's a vacuum balloon made of graphene and that's it guys unfortunately you know it's not aliens but um i'm probably going to put a flashy thumbnail about alien devices or something anyway guys i just thought i'd throw that one out there it was something i saw you know just as i was about to go in the house and have a nice soup but anyway guys vacuum balloon not aliens anyway guys i'm going to back to grid and i'll get you guys another video later